the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. But they had no child because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well advanced in years. So it was that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, according to the custom of his priesthood, Lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people was praying outside of the hour of incense. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. <laughs> Zacharias, for your prayers had been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall name him John. He will be great in the sight of the Lord, and also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. He will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God, to make people ready and prepared for the Lord. But how shall I know this? I am an old man, and my wife is old too. I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of the Lord, and was sent to speak to you and bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute and unable to speak until these things take place, because you do not believe in my words, which will be fulfilled in their own times. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to the city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among all women. What does this greeting mean? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a child and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and also be called the Son of the Highest. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. How can this be when I don't know a man? The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And now for her, this is the sixth month who was called barren. And with God, nothing is impossible. All the maid servants of the Lord and let it be according to your word. Now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste to a city of Judah and entered the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Elizabeth! Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the baby in my womb leaped of joy. Blessed is he who believes, for the, there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told from the Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced on God my Savior. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maid servant. All generations will call me blessed. For he is mighty and great things to me. Holy is his name. His mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. And it came to pass in those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there's no room for them in the inn. 
Now they were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring to you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all the people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is called Christ the Lord, and this will be the sign to you. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill towards men. God and the heart. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth and goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Goodwill towards men. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Let's go to Bethlehem and see the thing that God has told us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. Now when they have seen them, they made wisely known saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they heard and seen, as it was told them. Jesus is born! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas!